Thanks for coming. So, Kelsey, uh, as you know, Adept is a leading AI company. You might have heard of them. Indeed. Um, can you tell us a bit more about the hard problems that you're trying to solve at Adept? And uh, you know, what, what kind of technology you need to use to solve those problems? Totally. So it's a very exciting time to be working in machine, le in machine learning. I think ML people will always tell you that, but now is really something special. You know, we started Adept in January with a team from Google, DeepMind, and OpenAI. And we've all been struck by this paradigm shift we've seen in the industry over the last few years. See, the typical recipe for machine learning that many folks in this room have probably implemented in their enterprise is you identify a specific task or use case, say, translating language or something like that. You collect a large amount of training data for that task, in this case, you know, examples of text in different languages, and then you train a model for that task. And you spend a ton of time optimizing and handcrafting that model so that is purpose-built for the task at hand. And then when you want to apply ML to another use case in your organization, you rinse and repeat. You kind of start from scratch and you go through the same process again. Now what we've seen recently, which is really exciting, is if you take a certain type of neural network called a transformer and you train it on the internet, a vast amount of unlabeled data that's not specific to any task, and then you give it just a few hundred or a few thousand examples of your task, like translation, all of a sudden that model can be more capable than the model that you spent years and millions of training examples building. And not only that, but if you give that same model you know, a thousand examples of a different type of task, like summarizing text or classifying queries or whatever use case you're working on, in many cases that model is actually better at those tasks as well. And so you end up with these what we call foundation models, which are these large-scale, generally capable models that both outperform task-specific models we built in the past and also unlock capabilities that have never before been possible. So folks in the audience may have heard of some of these developments. We've seen incredible work in things like protein folding with models like AlphaFold. Folks may have heard of GPT-3, which is a foundation model for language that can do a wide variety of text-type tasks. Or most recently, we've seen a lot of exciting work in foundation models for images. So you have a model like DALI or Imagine or Stable Diffusion, where you can give the model a caption like a cute corgi sitting in a house made of sushi, and it will give you a picture of that, even though it you know, doesn't actually exist. And so at Adept, what we're doing is building one of these foundation models, but instead of for text or images or protein folding, it's for actions, and we're training a model how to use every piece of software on your computer so that you can interact with your computer just by using human language. Uh, that sounds a little bit complicated, um, but uh, in all seriousness, I, I remember you know, when we first started working together, it, it seems like it was yesterday. I feel it's, it's been a little bit longer than that. Um, but can you share with everyone a little bit more about uh, how you're actually using OCI to enable that? Mm -hmm. Totally. Well, many folks here this week have been Oracle customers for a long time. We are a startup who's been around for 10 months. And I think what comes with that is we really start with a clean sheet when it comes to thinking about who to partner with for this work we're doing. And for us, because these models are at the root of our business, infrastructure is critical. And we've worked really closely with OCI to build this cluster of thousands of interconnected GPUs that allow us to train these extremely large-scale models efficiently and effectively. And it's in close collaboration with folks on your team, Clay, and folks at NVIDIA, that we've been able to build our first model called Act One that is showing capabilities we've never seen before with this technology. And we've just been incredibly impressed with OCI and their ability to not just address use, case, use cases of today, but to really pull forward the future with us and to work on the next era of machine learning, which is you know, what we're entering into right now. So um, clearly, you have a lot of work to do, and you're very passionate about the future. Uh, where do you see this space heading, and what do you need from cloud providers uh, to continue to enable this type of great work that you're doing? Mm -hmm. So one thing that's been really exciting with these models is we've seen that predictably they get better and better with more and more scale. And this both comes in the form of data and also compute. And so it's really important as we look ahead that this is a partnership that we forge very closely as we continue to scale these models up. In terms of what these models will be able to do in the future, 
I think we're just scratching the surface of impacts this can have on the enterprise. But one area in particular that I'm really excited about is how this will change the way we collaborate with our computers. You know, since computers have existed, we've been doing this translation between human language and a language that our computer can understand. This started with things like punch cards or early programming languages, and it's come a long way since then. Now a lot of us use GUIs, these graphical user, user interfaces that pop up if you go to a website or you use a piece of software. But we still do a surprising amount of translating when we use these tools, whether it's you know, clicking or dragging or dropping or finding this menu or typing this formula. There's a lot we have to do to get these tools to work for us. And one thing I'm really excited about into the future and what we're working on at Adept is building an overlay to the tools that you use today that allow you to skip this translation step, to just express in human language what you're looking for and have that software do that for you. So I think you know, five years from now, we're going to look back at how we squinted at our spreadsheet writing a VLOOKUP formula or spent the first two weeks of a new job just learning how the software systems work and just think it was crazy. I mean, I think it's really going to change the way that we interact with computers in every part of our lives. It's going to make us more efficient, more creative, more capable. And I think it's partnering with infrastructure providers like OCI, which is going to really pave this future uh, together. So there's a lot to be excited about as we look ahead. Well, Kelsey, I can't wait for the days when I don't have to struggle with VLOOKUP. <laughs> uh, but uh, thank you for coming out today. It was really great to hear about all the, the interesting and exciting things you're doing in Adept. Thank you, Clay.